choose place choose a 0.25 inch long screw which should be one of our larger screws and we're going to initially bring in one, two, three, four of these and choose OK. Again when fitting screws what we're going to do is choose the hold down ALT select the constraint we want to use and we're going to fit this to the assembly I'm going to lock each of these screws into place like so so again choose the correct option to match each of these screws again hold down ALT and connect those on and we've now fitted the screws to the front surface to hold the frame together we're now going to repeat the process by rotating the model round and again place from the folder the corresponding correct size screw we can now see that the frame has been um, screwed together which is good we're now going to choose place and what we're looking for are the uh, kep nuts so open, we're going to bring in one, two, three, and four around the front, and one, two, three, four around the back. With each of these again, what we're going to do now is we're going to fit these onto the ends of the screws, like so. So this time what we're going to do is choose constrain, insert, we're going to choose the top edge of the screw and the hole, and choose to correspond that to the top edge and the center of that. Make sure you have them in the right direction. So again we'll repeat that. Constrain, insert the top edge and the hole to the corresponding top edge and the center. Choose flush and go OK. And what we'll do now is we'll just work our way around each of these screws and lock those into place. Now with the screws around the outside of the frame we're going to fit some uh, more screws and nuts so continue to repeat this process like so. We're going to bring in one, two, three, four at the top, one, two, three, four along the top of the front as well. And we're also going to bring in the corresponding nuts. With the screws fitted in place we can now look at the nuts if we just flip over the assembly and again repeat the same process of choosing insert if we now just quickly inspect what we've fitted we've fitted two screws to the outside edge and two screws just inside to fit that corner joint with matching nuts to hold those in place so we now have the main assembly of the tumbler done.